Welcome to Kyung's Kitchen. 안녕하세요. Thank you for watching. Today I'm going to share how to make delicious and healthier homemade strawberry jam. So let's go ahead and start. And first, you will need one package 16 ounce frozen strawberries. And you are going to put it in the... This is still frozen. Put it in here in the pot. Medium size will be good. I'm going to turn this heat up and put it on the medium high. Then you will need one cup water. Next one, you will need a tabinari sugar. Sugar in the roll. That's it. One fourth cup tabinari sugar. And this is a raw sugar, so it has some minerals and molasses. Next one, you will need a one teaspoon stevia. I found the same name, uh, stevia in the raw. And the three packages is a one teaspoon. So I will get a three package out, sprinkle here. So this is the low sugar and also sweet and delicious without all the sweet in there. And next one, need a one four teaspoon salt. And from here, you are going to boil them for about 15 to 20 minutes and this is such a simple delicious recipe that you and your family can enjoy strawberry is very high in antioxidant which is a kill the cancer cell not only that it will help you build the immune system to fight for diseases and also high in vitamin C and high in fiber and no cholesterol whatsoever. So what I'm going to do, I will be back in about 20 minutes, then I will show you the next step. So don't go away. Welcome back. Now, I'm boiling for 20 minutes. So now it's like a boiling really good, it's ready. So you may see some chunk of strawberry. So you need to maybe mash down if you don't like to have a chunk in it. So I'm going to just mash lightly. Okay. From here, you need to have cornstarch or clear gel. And if you're going to use right away, cornstarch works just fine. Two tablespoons. But I like to use clear gel because, and I like to keep it in the refrigerator when they have leftover. Then you need about two tablespoons water to mix it. Then it will stay clear. And the cornstarch, once you put it in the refrigerator, it get foggy. But it's still good, you need to stir up and use it. So, go ahead and put this here and make it thicken. It thickens fast. It's already thickened up. Mm -hmm. From here, I'm going to turn the heat up. Uh, fresh strawberry smell is so good. Very fresh. All right, now I'm going to show you what you can do with this jam. You know, most people like to put on the toast with it too. Now one time I put it on my uh, birthday cake for the topping. They're really good too. And then the other day I make some 
dumpling cookies, vegan, and I put some on top of it, bake it, it came out really good. So I'm gonna just put some little bit here so you can see. As it get cool, it will get thicker. Like that. Let's go in. I have biscuit right here. They're all vegan. So put some biscuit on top of it. And it will be really, really yummy. How about some waffle? This is also vegan waffle. Now I'm going to just put on the top. Then let my husband will spray it. And American tradition, let's go and put some on toast. You can put some vegan butter. If you do have vegan butter, then put some spray out. Mm -mm. There you go. There's so many ways you can enjoy healthy homemade strawberry jam without any preservatives and low in sugar and delicious. If you like to see the close up photo, it will be at the end of the cooking show. Uh, written recipe, click the show more below the video. Thank you for watching. See you until next program. May God richly bless you.